Welcome to this week's video reviews where we've got the Punch Super Robusto OEB Abrilo 06. Am I? August 06. Aroma Cold and Construction. Give me, give me some detail. Give me some commentary here. Just, just, I'm thinking a little bit of chocolatey ness to it. What are you thinking, Ken? I'm thinking that that's a load of crap. There's absolutely no chocolate in mine. I get sweaty socks. Yeah, well, I get somewhere in between. Yeah. Let's <laughs> draw. Like an, like an old leather football. Draw. Give me a look, look. Give me an idea. It's slightly firm, great. Yep. Perfect. Slight resistance. Exactly way I like it. It's f it's fairly rich. Um, the the drawers picked up a little bit a little bit better now. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a crooked burn, but that's probably because of all the stuffing around. A um, bit earthy. Uh, sorry. No, that could go. Um, it's a bit earthy at this stage. Um, still fairly youthful. I'm getting uh, what I feel is a bit of ginger nut uh, biscuit side of things, um, just on the opening. Um, but it's slotted straight in at medium there, and um, there's a there's a bite on the on the tongue as well. When these first came out, they were all over the place, as you know. We had no real idea where they were going, except that we thought they they, they had enough balls in them to go somewhere good. Hopefully, one of those flavours would carry on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, this is a mile away from where they were. What are we smoking? But I, it's nowhere near finished where it's going. Certainly rich. Yeah. Certainly rich. I mean, this is this is almost cake rich yeah. in, in, in that in that density. I think by the end of this first, uh, we're gonna have a fair idea as to what it's gonna what's, where it's going. Let's sum up the first third. We're going to start with you, Smitty, because if we want to get some intelligent commentary. So I'm sticking with my uh, ginger nut call, and there's that rich, uh, you're very right on the rich fruitiness side of things. Um, I want to say a touch of bread to it, toasty bread side of things. Cake? It's actually, I, I think, flattened on from its opening. Yeah. I, um, it really hasn't progressed to, uh, it's still a lot of flavour there and all that, but I just thought it'd continue on it. So it's a bit, bit muddled. Yeah. Uh, look, to be honest, normally I think you expect complete crap, but that time, um, I can say that there is not a lot of evolution, but it's it's still certainly an enjoyable cigar. Um, that ginger nut isn't actually. I mean, I see no chocolate whatsoever. I don't know where that came from, but I do see that ginger nut uh, character. So it's. Uh, I'm seeing ginger nut. I'm seeing cake. I'm seeing some some cinnamon spices. I'm seeing a whole heap of things. Mm. But what I'm seeing is like you know those those wrestling championships. We have six midgets in a ring. And they're just smashing each other. There's no clear flavour coming through. Right. It's all muddled. You could have just said the flavours were muddled, but no. <laughs> Describing in great detail, six midgets. We'll be back at the end of the second third. <laughs> Maybe not. None of the midgets find us. Pretty much coming towards the end of our second third. I'm going to start with you, Ken. To me, <sighs> the only real evolution has been that it's uh, increased a little bit in strength. But I think it's it's got a long long way to go. If, if I had a box of these, I'd be putting them away for five years. I think without even looking. Five years. At a pinch. Yeah. Um, it's just not not nowhere near ready yet. But it's got everything there that you need. But it's just not overly enjoyable at this point in time. I mean, you see when it's you get away, it's given its best shots. O three, uh, Guigal Cote de Rome, which when it's on, I reckon is one of the absolute bargains in the wine world. Smithy, tell me, what yeah. do you think? Yeah, it, it, uh, like Gargit said, I'll agree with you this time. Huh? The, it hasn't evolved too much. It has got a little stronger. There is a lot of richness and 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 depth in the smoke and all that sort of stuff. And it is, it's three years now, but it's still, you know, five, six, seven years from producing a really great cigar. Construction's fantastic, and um, it's tidy. It just hasn't got its act together. I agree with you. Okay, let's give it a little bit longer. Punch Super Robusto. Let's wrap it up. Ken, since you almost finished yours, I'll chug a lugs there. To me, it's only on the mild side. So it's not a big, there's, there's lots of flavours, but it's not a, a really powerful rich Are they flavours you can define or not really? Um, look, I go back to there's a touch of. <laughs> Think about midget wrestling. Um, It'll clarify everything for us. It. It's very hard to pull one out, isn't it? Young, still, still very much in the. Um, yet to evolve stage, uh, I'd put them away for five years, but look, if you wanted to smoke a couple now, you know, you'll get a, a thoroughly pleasant experience, but I think you'll get you a far better experience in five years. It just hit me when you said, can you pick out those, an individual flavour? And when we first tried these, you could pick out individual flavours and then stuff disappeared and then stuff... They had cheese, remember? Yeah, they had camembert, rind, and it was here, there and everywhere. 
what we've got now is very, very stable. They've all, in a sense, amalgamated, but nothing is coming out clearly yeah. and defining itself nothing to a beautiful its flavor. So I'm thinking it's just on its step to being, uh, you know, really defining itself in five years' sides of things. I've had the A6s. These are the A6s. This is the original release. Of course, they re-released back in uh, in 07. The A7s are f smoking far better than the A6s are. I still believe the A6s perhaps have more potential than the A7s, and that's a punt. That's a dead set punt. But this one here, oh, I'm talking 213, 214, really to have a good look at it. As it is now, from a pure enjoyable perspective, an 84, 85. Um, I think potential. You're looking at you're looking early 90s. So, I, oh, sorry. Well, sorry. No, I was going to say 88, 89. Um, 85, 86. Just because those flavours have come together, but haven't defined themselves enough. We'll be back shortly for the Romaniano Estupendo review, mm. uh, which is the which is no seven to second release. Let's see exactly how that goes. Look forward to it. Cheers. But that doesn't mean we definitely don't think along the same lines. Does that make sense? No. No, I didn't think so. I'm sitting here with guys who are bagging Warren Zevon. I mean, seriously. Well, we're bagging your singing, Warren Zevon. <laughs> if this was I'm Idol, like... you'd be Marsha Hines or, or Paula Abdul. Um, um, look, if the tax office got... is looking for Ken, you can find him on our. <laughs> you can find him on our forum. <laughs> I'll give you his address. I like to surround yourself with friends with with class. Class. <laughs> And, and then there's Ken. I've got, I've got very big spaces surrounding me. <laughs> Isn't that just glorious? It's better than I normally give you. <laughs> well, it's full. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do a tasting this morning. How <laughs> slack I was. The dance of death, fishing with Ken. Did you hook him through the cheek at any stage or? I never hooked anyone through the cheek. Des? Des was next to the eye. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what I've been missing, people. The reviews for the last couple of weeks have been serious. I've enjoyed them. I thought they've been... In fact, I've learned something watching them. <laughs> I look at our reviews, I learn nothing. Oh, he's back. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Sorry, continue on. Uh, you know, all we're going to hear is this. Jesus Christ! Put King Arthur away. It's <laughs> just... It's like trying to manage a two-year-old. Two two Who smokes? <laughs> and drinks. It's one of the few places that you're not the actual village idiot. <laughs> Hear me First out. First week back and you got midget wrestling. <laughs> it's not that bad. You got six midgets bashing each other up. So no, it's, it's, it's not that bad you've got six midgets bashing each other up. You know, I've, I've got to say, not ever having watched midget wrestling, that um, I'm at a, at a disadvantage here. No, you don't know who's who, they're all over the place. <laughs> there goes the midget market. <laughs> that mixed older bunch recently at the uh, Kahiva um, pigtail thingy. Um, Here's a moron. <laughs> Dancing moron. No, 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 hopefully that was out of uh, view. <coughs> Is he dancing? Right? He's dancing. Honestly. Picture someone trying to stomp on a frog. <laughs> no, it's no fire. We're not in a rush. I'm just saying that... You have to wait till all the booze buses shut down. Point to the evidence. <laughs> Turn that crap off. <laughs> Honestly. Jesus. The girls in Cuba all say hello. They missed terribly. I missed them. Well, you said his... his... Yeah, I was just making him feel better. But I was just going to say, don't. He'll just take all credit for it. For oh, every no, don't call the Why would you take credit for something that's crap? That's <laughs> a good system, Cole, seriously. <laughs> oh, that's so going in the outtakes. Let's <laughs> just flick him. Mm. Right. Future reviews, flick him. 